Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to the channel on day 3 of our joke mod playthrough here. Got a couple chests up on the wall to sort some stuff out. I left my desk here because, well, it's holding my lamp up. I'm not quite sure if it'll float properly if I get rid of it, but eh. Got rid of the broken fridge, got rid of something else. The trash can, I think. Repaired the hole in the floor, sort of. I, you can see I kind of did some stuff. Got a campfire here. I made a little bit of extra water. I don't have too much on me. I cooked the potatoes that I had. Uh, hang on, I don't need this. I'm going to put you right in there. All right, so there's a moment of dumb. I, I realized this when I was going back and doing the editing, which by now I'm not sure. Well, actually, I know for a fact I'm recording a ton of these videos in advance, so I know you guys haven't seen it yet. There's a lantern right here. I need three of them to complete this mission, and there's one right there. I'm stupid. I, I'm not used to looking for them to be able to pick them up because it's just not something I normally do. Uh, also, a flashlight, you pick that up and you can scrap those, all these little waypoint markers that you normally have. Uh, you can use the, I mean, you can pick them up and scrap them. It's kind of kind of a wonderful thing. So, one of the things I'm going to do today, besides miss my jump apparently, is I need to run over to Trader Dudes and I could probably stand to do a couple jobs for him. I've not done any at all. And uh, if I'm ever having a chance of getting a bike, I could probably do that. What are, what, hold on, what are you? Drop a bomb. Sprinting toward power attacks has a chance of knocking your opponent out. Nice. Barbell and bottom two. That's a good one to have. I haven't been checking the mailboxes here. I've kind of been distracted by how much fun I'm having in this mod. Uh, yeah. The other thing I need to do at the traders over here is to um, get all my stuff and take it back over to the house. Got all these nests right here. Gather some feathers. I think I have a... We're not going to go in the junkyard. I'm just... I'm, I'm not ready to go back and deal with that cat just yet. Got to keep an eye on things. Last time we saw the giant Karen was wandering around this general area over here. And I'm not quite sure if she has moved on or not. So I want to see what he's got real quick. Close you up. Greetings, stranger. Greetings. I've got the best deals in Navis game. Yeah, probably not. All right, let's see. We got a clear. We got a fetch. That one's not too far from here. I've got just fast the food. Oh, wait a second. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Which direction is. Wait. Which direction is that? Hang on. i got to mark that as my active one here because it's got my lanterns there. Okay, so let me see where you are on the map. Okay, so it is... Uh, it's right over here. That's not too bad. I, I was worried. No, actually, we can't do that one. That's our house. If we activate that, it'll reset everything that's there. I thought that's... No, I'm sorry, sir, but I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to cancel that job. I hope you understand and you don't hold it against me. Let's see, do you have anything else that's not going to be inside my house? That would be great. Okay, so all these are just clears. This is the closest one. you think one. you can help me with no matter what? I'm grateful for everything. Yeah, I'm done. sure you are. Okay, so that one's going to be down here. It's a little bit further away. We can handle that. Uh, I need to glance around and make sure he doesn't have any more lanterns laying around here because I only need one more to be able to complete that quest, and I'm going to end up just missing it entirely because, again, I'm not paying attention. It's not something I'm used to seeing. Is that just a desk lamp sitting over on top? <laughs> oh, good God. All right. Uh, let's see. Get our sleeping bag so we can put it at home. Get all of our stuff. I think we can carry everything. Yeah, we are. We're a little bit on the chunky side. We're just going to leave you right there for now. I'm not going to worry about you. I want to get all the stuff home, drop it off real quick, and then we're going to head over... Not there. we got to gather some more lanterns. But I'm going to drop this off, and then we'll head over and towards doing our next uh, quest for him. I have no idea if this mod has changed the way things work as far as like how kind of rewards and stuff he gives. I'm going to search his ice cream truck. I never did get it when I ran past here. I love these textures here, these random weird things. Can I search you? Oh, I can. All right. Let's see what you got in here that could be good for me. Oh, cloth. There we go. Oh, also, I put the nail mod on this chain mod I had on here on my wooden club. So the thing's pretty beastly now. Since we're kind of relying on it to do a lot of our uh, bashing of zombie heads in, I figured it'd probably be a good idea to make it as strong as possible. Hence, another reason why I've been putting skill points into uh, strength and pummel peat and stuff and things like that. All right, so what I plan on doing... Let me see. How far does that stick out? Uh, might cause a problem... Let's see, I want to add a quick little ladder so I can do this without having to go all the way up to the top. Eh, sure, round one works fine. Put you like that. That should be fine. I think I, that'll help me be able to get up. Nice. 
Yes, I could probably just break down one of the doors so I can get in and out. Like, this one would probably be useful to just beat down, but that's, again, a problem for future cap. I'm so happy, I'm so freaking happy, that we got the headlamp mod on day two. So now I don't have to worry about how hard it is for you guys to see things. That's just freaking awesome. I'm loving that. Okay, got those spots locked in. Let me... Oh, I got nothing in there I can sort. What about you? Can I put all that in there? Nice. All right, let me drop off a bunch of this stuff I don't have to have on me real quick. Okay, got the body bag placed. Got everything we needed over here. Uh, let's see, I've got a good 33 rounds on this one, so that shouldn't be too bad. Okay, so we'll keep an eye on the other lantern that we need to do. But let's go ahead and mark this one so I can see which direction I need to go for that one. It's going to be that way. i got to try to remember to actually look as I'm going along here. Because a lot of times they use either the flashlights or the lanterns as markers as to which way you're supposed to go in a POI. And if I can halfway pay attention to that, maybe we'll get that. I think I only get just like a little bit of experience for completing that, but still, I don't want to miss out on it. I don't know what's next, so I, I need to keep an eye on that. Uh, no! We're going to go this way. Shh. Nobody saw anything. The croconope didn't see anything. Let's just keep on going this way. I don't know. Wait, am I close? Oh, okay, I'm close enough now. It activated it. Ooh, hang on. Is there a... I might as well check these boxes. I don't even have to crack into them. One repair kit. Not bad. And wait, what are you? A rectal thermometer. You probably shouldn't put the thing in your mouth. Probably not. Also, oh, I guess it went away. Um, I did have a uh, an affliction here because if you remember yesterday's video, day two, I found... Oh, there's a lantern right there. Let me go grab that before I reset this just in case. Um, I found some urinal cakes, which supposedly help with your dirtiness, and, um, yeah, I went ahead and eat, ate one, just, or I tried to use one to see what it would do, and apparently by trying to use it, I accidentally ate it, and it kind of made me sick, and so for a little bit, I had the warning pop up on the screen saying, hey, by the way, you're stupid, and because you're stupid, you're going to get far less experience for a little bit, so that was fantastic. I need to make sure that I stay... Close enough here, but we got the lanterns. Oh, yeah. Did you like that, Tom? Did you? Check it out. Nut shot. Oh, we're going to do a nut shot of death. Frank? Okay, so power hit with a club right in your face hole did not do a lot. It's going to take a few hits to get you going in the right direction here. And that direction is down. It'll break your knee, sir. Go all Tanya Harding on you here. And one, two more good hits and you're done. There we go. 1,500 XP. I do like having the bonus XP in there. It's making life wonderful for me. Come get some. Lisa? <laughs> what what, what you doing? You been drinking, girl? Come plowing out of the closet like that. That is not good for your health, ma'am. Okay, so let's see. We got some lead, and that's all that's in here. I do want to check real quick because I completed this. Advanced Survivor Level 2. Oh, okay. Just got to talk to the trader. 500 XPs, and I get nothing. Also, I noticed when I was sorting through the inventory and I was re-watching the video, I couldn't figure out where I got all that rock candy from that, I, that you guys probably saw. And apparently, if you hit the glass that's laying on the ground... Oh, this looks sketchy. If you hit like the piles of glass when you're trying to clean stuff up, it gives you rock candy, which you can eat. It doesn't do a, it doesn't do a lot, but it's still it's like free candy. And who doesn't want free candy? I really need to go through and sort out the stuff that I have in my inventory because I think I have like two of the same tool here, and I don't need those. What you got for me in your hidden trash over here? Pipes, nice. Since I have a pipe machine gun, probably not a horrible thing to hang on to. All right, let's have a quick gander around this hole before you just drop in there. Boo! Oh, hell. That's exactly what I tried to do. Well, come on, come get some, Walt. <laughs> you did the same thing I did. I mean, you, you kind of fell in my hole. That just sounds wrong. All right, you just circle around the fire pit here. Bonk. Oh, dude, I thought I broke his neck. It was all hanging over backwards and stuff. <laughs> and headshot. Might as well check the trash while we're down here since I fell all the way down. Some more nails. I need actually a ton of nails because I need to be able to make the bigger writable storage. 
And uh, the regular storage boxes have smaller capacity. And what are you? A jar of farts. Weird jar found. Not sure what the label says. Doesn't smell too good. Can I sell you? If I, uh, if I scrap you, what do I get? Ooh, rock candy. Okay, that's weird. That that's just weird. That that's 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 weird. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. That's just okay. But I mean, I didn't point it out. But we got an anvil just a little bit ago. That's great. Take all of that. Take you bunch of random cans laying around. That is our traditional um, our traditional loot. I'm leaving the lead behind. I do not need that stuff right now. Okay, I believe the game really wanted me to fall in there. That was the whole purpose of going that direction. Yep. Got a chem station over there. Maybe we'll get lucky and get a blueprint for it or a schematic. Testosterone? Nice. If nothing else, we can sell that. I think I need that and one... Actually, you know what? No, stop clicking things. There we go. I think I need the testosterone and one other thing to make a cigar, which is great for helping out with stamina... Not stamina. Strength. Three cans of canned meat. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. That's actually not too bad at all. Okay, you are nothing. Let's see what's in you. Uh, more stuff. Okay, I'll just go ahead and take all that. Let's see what's in the chem station here. A little bit of acid. Appropriate. Nitrate and some glue. Cool, cool. There's a lot of little bitty loot things laying around here. I'll take the plastic. I guess I'll take the buckshot. I can't make a blunderbuss now because that's not in the game anymore. But, hey... What's up, Glenn? Speaking of Glenn, how many people know why I call him Glenn? His full name is Glenn Matthews. I'm going to go ahead and tell you. If, if you already know, then you'll just get this already. But Glenn Matthews is the name that we're told is the name of the janitor on the TV show Scrubs. Sitcoms on for a good few years, uh, several years ago. It's off air now, of course. Anyway. It's my all-time favorite show. I've rewatched the entire series. No. I've rewatched the entire series several times. And what's really, really cool is I finally convinced my wife to watch it with me. That's one of those that I had tried for a long time to convince her to watch it. She was like, nah, it's not really my thing. I don't really have an interest in it. I finally got her to watch all the way through the first eight seasons. Well, that's all the seasons. We don't count the ninth season because that was a mistake for them to even make that. So we don't count that one. So I got her to watch all of them, and we actually watched the series last episode finale tonight. And it, oh yeah, I know, I'm just as excited. And every single time, it hits me right in the feels. Man, when JD's doing that last walk down the hallway, and all the former patients and stuff are, you know, kind of wishing them well. He sees the, you know, the, not really a flashback, but like a flash forward. It's just fantastic. I absolutely love the show. Hits me in the feels. So anyway, the janitor dude. What's up, Lois? The reason I call him Glenn is because that's what we're told, like the last episode of the series, that the janitor's name is, is Glenn Matthews. Now, whether it actually is or not, who knows? Eh, go ahead and take the stone. Don't need the brass. Who else is in here? All right, well, you just keep doing your thing. Can I scooch underneath you? No, not like Darkness Falls where you can beat underneath. Okay, and use my plastic axe, beat in here. And we shouldn't have too much more to have to do to clear this place out. It's a small peel line, it's a tier one. Surprise! Couple Waltz, or Walt and, uh, okay, that must be Jesse. Walter's a little bit more serious out of the two of them. Don't try and hit me, dude. Gotta keep an eye on my flank. Oh, he ducked and his friend got hit. Rude. That was just rude. Okay, so I think somebody figured out how to get in. Let's go say hi real quick. How about we open the door for him? Hey, what's up, Kyle? Yeah, tweaker. Okay, so that's how you get out. Is you're trying to climb under the porch. Okay, so I got everything cleared out here. Now I just need to make sure there's not any good loot up in here. And we'll be ready to head back. Drop off all this stuff at the house as we run through, because we're a little bit on the, little bit on the full side of things. And I'll take the cloth. I'm leaving the gore behind. Eventually, eventually, I might find a good use for that gore. But right at the moment, what are you? Glass cleaner removes ghostly stink, ghastly stink, not ghostly stink. Okay, well my stench is only at 1.5 because I ate a urinal cake. <laughs> that sounds just. 
wrong on so many levels. Like, oh, you ate a urinal cake. That sounds lovely. Okay, pumpkin spice latte. Since I have two of those, pumpkin spice iced coffee, I'm just going to go ahead and use you. Get the water back up, stamina regen, some shotgun shells, advanced muffler mod, barbed wire. Okay, so a rusty iron spear, not as good as the one we have, and some more ice ammo. Again, I don't know what the ice ammo goes in. I'm not sure if you can even equip that in, like, your uh, pipe weapons. I have never seen it before. It's kind of new to me, of course. But, no big deal. Let's crack in here. See if we get anything good in the old popping pills. Fortunately, we don't have any afflictions right now, and I really got to stop saying words. I'm really just going to hinder myself. I know I'm encumbered. Oh, also, what I made was a bunch of plastic arrows instead of the stone arrows, because it looked like, comparing the two, that they uh, the plastic arrows seemed like they did a little bit better damage. I could be wrong, but it's what it looked like, at least. Uh, go ahead, use you, get you out of the inventory spot here. See, scrap you, put you up there. Some more bellows. Cool. Uh, I don't need, wait, 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 hang on, we need, we need to go in there. Look, can I, can I get in? There we go. What's up here? Ooh, ammo bag, I almost missed, and a safe. Oh, nice, I almost, you, you guys almost let me miss this. Yeah, I'm blaming y'all for that. Uh, shotgun choke mod, nice. Um, iron crossbow bolts, I won't need those for a while. Just scrap them, keep me from getting cucumbered here. Yes, I actually said that one on purpose this time. I know Josh usually messes with my head and gets me saying stuff like that. Alright, we have 15 lockpicks. Surely we can get in on the first try. Let's see it. Alright, we got, uh, let's see, we broke four lockpicks, but it's not horrible, I guess. And what are you? Dead Rider BB gun. What kind of ammo does that take? Uses 9mm ammo. Oh, that's cool. I actually picked up some 9mm ammo. Trying to shoot your eye. I tell you, you probably can't shoot anything's eye with it. It's a freaking water gun is what it looks like. Repair with plastic. Scraps to plastic. Okay. Hey, it's a pistol. A pistol is a pistol is a pistol. I'm, I'm not going to complain about it. It is what it is. All right, let's drop down in here. I'm going to go ahead and take you because I can. And all of this is good to go. Okay, so we sh we're going the wrong way. We need to go this way. Door is open so we can get up out of here. Trader dude is that way. Sounds like there's a little bit of a commotion going on in the front there, but I don't care. We'll stop by the housework over here at the old Whataburger Inn. Fine dining establishment. Drop off all the stuff we don't need. See if we can sell some stuff to him. Um, oh my god, we forgot about the crocodile again. The crocodile. Oh, Man, <laughs> there was a little, there was a little pucker there. I'm not gonna lie, not gonna lie. That, uh... <laughs> well, yeah, we we got some pucker. Um, hang on, I gotta see what's in here. Not that way, we don't, and not with this weapon, at least. I wonder if can I open you? Is there a door around here? Might as well check these. I'm probably get a little bit of gasoline, which is not bad. <laughs> Okay, so it does look like there's a small hatch on top. Or... I could probably hop up there with some proper nerd pulling, but I'm not too worried about it. Get up. Nah, we missed. That was just terrible. Terrible. Come on, Cap. Everybody's watching you here. Yeah, so... Okay, so there it is right there. Okay, so now the affliction showing up. Bad learner. Our dumb, dumb, we earn less P. It's down to just a little bit less than two minutes now of earning a little bit less experience because of dumb decisions. So, pro tip... Don't eat the urinal cakes. They tell you that they help out with cleanliness, but they really don't. They just make you dumb for a little bit. Actually, it may have helped, but it still made me dumb. All right, let me dump off a few things in here. Okay, good to go here. I think, let me see, I can go ahead and put an anvil in right over here and one of my advanced bellows. Go ahead and put, I didn't mean to grab two, but that's okay. I put one in there. Boom, look at that. We got a fully functioning campfire. I can't believe the campfire can take bellows, a crucible, and an anvil. That's just, that's a little bit ridiculous if I'm, if I'm being honest with you. So what I can do is I have picked up a couple eggs, not many, but that'll allow me to make one bacon and egg probably. Yep, I can't, uh, okay, you need some wood. Here, we'll put a ladder in there. That should be good to go. You cook, do your thing. I guess I'll bring you with me. Put the rest of the stuff over back in here. I don't need. I hang on to this little bit of money and I can sell it. 
and I need to put these back to the standard blocks or I'm going to do something stupid and try to rapidly nerd pull and end up hindering myself a little bit. That doesn't sound like me at all. Okay, got some bacon and eggs, turn you off, and we are good to go to head back to the trader dude. So, while I have you here, we're a little ways into this video now, how are y'all liking this series so far? Are you, are you having a good time with it? Uh, I, I'm having a great time with this mod. I'm having a fantastic time with it. I hope you guys are too. You know, if you're this far into the video and you are enjoying it, you know, do me a favor and leave a like on the video. It helps me out a whole lot. It helps me out tremendously a lot, actually. Hang on, I need to grab you, repair... Wait. I think I need a little bit more wood than I had. How much do you actually need to repair? Repairs with wood? Okay, so I just don't have enough wood. Well, that's not a problem I'm familiar with. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm having the dumbs here. You're supposed to... There you go, you dummy. I'm just... I'm hitting it with my club, so it's not actually giving me any wood. What a dork. There we go. Y'all forgive me. Right after I asked you if you're enjoying the series, and now here I am having the dumbs. Did I... Okay, I did bring the lanterns with me, so I can complete that quest and the one that he sent us on. Maybe we'll get some good stuff from it this time. Did anybody leave your gate open? No. <laughs> Sub, dude. Many thanks. Improved fittings mod or steel nail ammo? Ooh, steel nail ammo for the finger gun and the nail gun. Um, I'm not using the finger gun. The improved fittings mods really... Eh, I'm not using any... I'm going to take that. Okay, uh, let me see. Did I complete the other quest here? The advanced kill... A hole. Oh, that's that's one of them stupid gooses. <laughs> that's the stupid goose. Okay, uh, let me see. I need to sell you real quick. Your day. You don't reset till tomorrow, so I'm not too worried about it just yet. You got a Peace ton of stuff that I still don't know what it is. Friend. Yeah, and paste be with you too. I don't think I've searched that box right there. I've got that one, but I haven't got that one yet. I was hoping I could reach around the corner here. The old reach around. Uh, let's see. Let's take another job. This one's not too far. It's a clear. Help me with brilliant. I, I will help you with brilliant. Okay, so this one, let's go ahead and mark you on the map here. Let's see which direction we got to go. So basically, the direction we already were. We're just going to like right next to the one we just did. No big deal. We can try to complete as many quests as possible. We can get the old bicicleta, and then we'll be good to go. If I, I knew there was a goose right over here next to this thing, so I guess, I guess we can try to take out the goose. Let's see if that a-hole goose is still over here. He cussed me out the entire time we were in here last time, and it ain't cool, man. It ain't cool. I gotta basically just listen for a foul-mouthed goose. <laughs> if I hear it cussing, I'll uh, about face and see if I can't take it out real quick. I'm still a little bit on the leery side, I'm not gonna lie, about killing one of these geese, or at least attacking it. Did I search you? I did. I'm a, I am a little bit leery about it, only just because... I, I know gooses are not nice creatures in real life. They are very territorial. And in this game, with it being a mod that's a joke mod, who knows? That's it, huh? I'm just going to leave that behind. It, I could very well attack a goose that just straight up myrtleizes me. I'm trying to keep an eye on my surroundings, make sure I don't do anything too dumb. We'll check all the mailboxes, see if we get any good mo Oh, nice. Successfully sneak attack with arrows. I have a 20% chance of knocking down the target. Sweet, sweet. That's useful. Keep an eye on things. Looks like Tim's over there having a moment. What are you? Winning lottery tickets. A million dollar winner. Better turn this one in quick. Really? Huh. I don't know what that is. But I'll, I'll take it just in case. Tim, try and hit me, sir. That ain't cool. Hit you in the butt. Let's go take out Sid over here, too. Swing and a miss. Oh, you got knocked out, son. And you dead. Oh, man. I'm really kind of nervous about coming across a uh, crocodile. honestly. I've run across one twice now. Maybe three times. Ooh, nice. What are you? Grab flaming arrows and crossbow bolts. Sweet. I'm, I'm digging and getting some stuff from these mailboxes. I'm, I'm hoping that's a regular thing. A list of... <laughs> it's empty. It's a list of no Fs to give. 
Yeah, I, I try to keep it slightly family friendly over here, but every once in a while it slips out. Yeah, I'm family friendly in the fact that I'm killing things and there's blood and guts and gore everywhere, but I try not to drop some F-bombs in here unless I just have to. All right, well, let's check their mail real quick, see if they got anything good in here. What you have? 10% more damage against coyotes? I'm not going to argue against that. I haven't come across any coyotes just yet, but let's hope I don't either. Which way do you want me to go about getting in here? That way. All right. I'm taking your lantern. If nothing else, I can always use the lanterns to light up my own base. Or when I do finally figure out what I'm going to do as far as like a horde base. Which I honestly, I still don't know yet. Do you have any eggs in here? No. I'm good on arrows for a bit. I'm not going to take any more of those. Did that reset? It did. Still no eggs. That's just rude. Did you reset too? You did. How about something good? Ooh, a flaming mod. Ah, yeah, burning shaft mod, I mean. Uh, let me see. I can't. Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we got a flaming shaft. And it's got prickly parts to it. We're going to set everything on fire. So we should definitely be able to see really well. This, I don't know what happened in this room, but I'm guessing something bad. The fact that we have a teeny tiny little living area and a hospital bed in the corner. I'm guessing somebody was sick. Oh, I guarantee somebody's going to fall in on top of me. I'm guessing somebody was sick and was living out their dying last couple days here, asking for family help take care of them. Bad things probably happened. Somebody turned, somebody got eaten, probably wasn't in the, uh, in the, uh, socially acceptable way either. T-shirt? Can I wear you? Um, no. Tell you what, I'll just scrap you and take you. Sounds like y'all are getting in here. Uh, scrap you, scrap you. I'm not getting the paint out of there. Who dat? All right, well, you'll figure it out eventually, or you won't. So this is just a clear. There's, oh, man. All right, Bozo's going to take one right in the old bean bags. Nut shot. Oh, that had to hurt. He's just having all kinds of difficulties. Oh, that one missed. I almost feel bad. Can I have, can I uh, pull my arrow out of your, <laughs> out of your tizent? What did you bring me? Can of dog food, some trophies, and some 9 millimeter ammo. Hey, nice, at least for the water gun that we got, we can use that. Some shoes, oh, nice. I can go ahead and wear those. They don't, th these kind of suck, so I might as well put them on, right? Did you make me any coffee? You made me some pumpkin ice latte. Nice. I'll take that. Thank you very much. That's not too bad at all. Those are actually pretty good. They don't have any they don't have any uh, diminishing returns. Like some of them is, oh, you can take this, but you're going to crap yourself if you eat or drink it. So, you know, buyer beware sort of thing. All right. I think somebody finally made it in. You know what? You're really obnoxious here. Let me help you out. You hit from that side, I'll hit from this side. Sounds like a Skeletor anyway. I feel like I ain't doing like most of the work there, Chief. Bonk. Sound like an empty melon. Well, I mean, I guess it kind of is. Did you bring any of your friends with you? Yeah, you better not have. All right, I'm trying to loot the kitchen. Can you leave me alone for a half a second? Jeez. I need to I need to make some more pocket or I need to make some not more but I need to make some pocket mods so that I have a little bit more inventory space. Ew, that's nasty. Rizco, nothing behind you. Okay. Oh, there's my arrow I missed earlier. Can I have you back? Thank you. And uh, the one that he got stuck in the old tizent, he's not gonna give back. Okay. Oh, I have to try it. <laughs> You got stabbed with a plastic knife. Do you feel dumb? I kind of do. Oh, you're definitely going to need a cream for that. Sylvia! Hey, do you have any burn cream? Wait, you kind of need some too. Look. He's just shaking his head in disbelief. I know. I can't believe I would hit my girl like that either. Yeah, level eight. Okay, so this... Wait. Yeah, so that's how I got some raw candy. So if you're seeing that in here, that's pretty fantastic. It doesn't seem to have any adverse effects. So a little bit of health, a little bit of food, call it a good. No books in there. Unfortunately, I'm going to guess it's pretty nasty in there. Yep. Mm -hmm. I don't want any of that. 
An iced bandage does no health, no abrasion speed. It stops bleeding and cures sprains. Okay. Kind of weird, but I'll take it, I guess. Uh, wait, I meant to take that. There we go. Okay, switch back to your actual weapon. You're going to come across somebody that needs a beating. And you're not going to have the right tool in hand. You're going to hit them with a plastic axe. And then they're going to laugh at you. They're all going to laugh at you. Goth boots. Uh, I can kind of sell those for a couple bucks. At this point, $50 is $50. A duster. I'm going to go ahead and wear you. I have a pet rock. It's just kind of sitting at home. It doesn't really do anything. More glue. Nice. Okay, loot stage is only at 11. So we're definitely not rocking any of the good high-level loot stuff yet. Is that everything that's downstairs before we hit upstairs? Double check just to make sure. Another hospital bed. Yeah, bad things happened in this house. I'm guessing the apocalypse happened and... Well, that doesn't sound good. Is that coal? Sounds like somebody running around with flippers on. Oh, okay, it is. Crispy ma Hey, dude. No. Ooh. Oh, that's not cool. You already got burned to death, and now you're on fire again. I know, it's kind of mean of me, right? Well, you came after me. No. Let's not do that, okay? Let's not do that either. I guess we'll go up here, because it wants me to... Ooh, crack a book. No, let's not do that either. Ooh. And Dunskies. Sweet, easy peasy. Candy, what do you do? Only your guns seem to work. I should probably not eat that one since I'm focusing on melee stuff. Okay, so you're good to have. Water purifier mod. Oh, that's fantastic. Brand wine. Stamina regens. Nice. Okay, so no adverse effects. Bone club. That kind of sucks. A bunch of nails. Nice. And some food. Sweet, sweet. 762. 9mm works too. Okay, uh, let me see. Do I have any spot available in here? I do. Put that in there. Now I can just straight up drink some nasty water. I don't have to worry about cooking it. That is good. Having the water purifier mod and the helmet light this early on in the game is fantastic. Sweet. I use you and I'll take a shamage. Are you hot? No, you're not hot anything. Thought just maybe. Let's crack this bad boy open and see if we can get our learn on. Wait, do we still have some sort of affliction? I swear that time has run out and changed several times. What are you? Retracting stock mod. Okay, well, I'm not going to make one of those anytime soon. Okay, so seriously. Bad learner. Shows one minute. Shows less than two minutes over here. Dumb, dumb, earn less XP. Well, I ate that like a long time ago, man. You're going to have to just move on. I'm taking your lantern. I know I shouldn't have eat the urinal cake. You know, live and learn sort of thing. But you don't have to penalize me from here on forever. Um, Hang on, was there... This is getting harder to get through here. Okay, so if I go up and I look to the left, I should be able to drop in that room that was barricaded. Was there anything in here? This is the nasty backpack. Uh, I can sell you and, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and drink you since I don't have to worry about it anymore. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Not having to cook water. It's a simple task, but not having to do it is just fantastic. Dude, there's one of them... Weird looking cows over there. He's stuck underneath an, a little log mover machine. There's another lantern right there, but tell you what, I'll leave that one. Okay, trader is this way. Need to get over, turn this in. Don't hurt yourself, stupid. Okay, skeletons leaned up against the wall. There was a couple mailboxes this way I wanted to get when I'm running through here. See if we can get some more books or schematics. Don't eat the paint. Okay, I don't. I, I, I'm generally kind of curious here what these do because they don't seem to do anything. If I scrap it down, it just gives me paper. I can't sell it. So I guess I'm just going to scrap it all down. It just gives me paper. Okay, so I guess it's just a fun way to have something else besides just plain white paper and everything. Picture of boobs. I don't want to scrap that. Boobs are great. Boobs are fantastic. I'm big fans of them things. Always have been. Okay, well, let's get over here. We haven't seen any of them a-holes. Them stupid gooses. So we definitely need to keep an eye out for them. Because we got to kill... Hey, there's a doghouse. Okay, so I think... Here's my... Uh, here's my... Um, what's the word? 
what's not theory. Theory could be a word. I mean, <laughs> it's okay. Let's, here's my hypothesis. That's what I was actually trying to say is that dogs were replaced with uh, the alligators. I've not seen any dogs yet, thank God. And I've seen a couple alligators all right around the area where a doghouse is. So I think it, that's could that could be what it is, is that they just replaced all the alligators with dogs. Kind of seems like a thing, doesn't it? I guess if you're an expert in this mod, you can tell me if I'm right or not. All right, give me something good, dude. Something oh, real good. Well earned. Uh, plastic bull. I don't need either one of those. I guess I'll take that and then I can just sell it to you. All right, let me sell a few things that I don't need. All right, that's not much, but I got 2,300 monies now. So let's see if you have anything good. We're definitely not going to get those. An organ grinder. Mod for auger to greatly increases entity damage. Ooh, that's cool. Double pocket mod schematic. That would be useful. That would be real useful. Oh, I need 40 more dollars for that. What can I sell this $40? Do you can... Do you have anything I can sell you that like forty? Do you want some candy? Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and sell that to you. You can have that. And are you sure you don't want that? You want some bones, a little bit of fiber, some dog food table. I'll sell the dog food to you. I want to get this right here. There we go. Gratitude. Gratitude to you too, sir. Okay, so if I was going to make some double pocket mods, I have to have a workbench for them, so it's going to be a while. You know, scrap, leather, duct tape. Okay, so stuff that I can have. We just need to get a workbench going. I can't just make one, right? I mean, that would make sense, right? I can't just make a workbench. No, I need the schematic for it. All right, all right. Okay, so tomorrow is day four. We have a little bit of time left before we have to worry about the next, or the first horde, not the next horde. Our first horde. I've heard that the hordes in the joke mod is definitely a lot more challenging than people want to give it credit for. So I'm going to be real, real curious as to see how bad it actually is. I still need to try and find a place to do it. I've used this building right here, right over there. I did that in my ninja series. Worked fantastic. I made, I made another path funding, path funding, path finding base that completely screwed with their um, ability to get to me. It was wonderful. It worked great. But I know some people find doing that kind of stuff boring, so I don't know if I'll do that or not. We'll just have to see. But I guess what we need to do... Ooh, hang on. Some free rock candy. Yeah, that's fantastic. Let me look around and see if there's anything else. That's probably one of the better additions I've seen to this game so far, is free rock candy laying on the ground. Eh, I'll take all of that. I could make an advanced forge, but I... Uh, let me see. Oh, there we go. Some more rock candy. Nice. I can make an advanced forge, but I need this. I need some steel for that first. I don't need that. So, are there any street lights? Let's see if, perchance, we still get uh, steel for these here. Come on, steel! Oh, you can turn the lights on, dude. That in itself is just amazing. That puts off quite a bit of light too. Okay, well that's cool, but I'm gonna I need you to give me like a huge stack of forged steel. I don't remember how much I need for the advanced forge. Okay, so there's one. I think I may have a couple that I have found. Okay, so we ended up with net one on the forged steel. Alright. I know that typically, even in vanilla, you can only get like one, maybe two from those. Did I search you? I didn't. I, I tell you, I got the whole ADD thing going on here. I'm just like, ooh, shiny thing. Ooh, shiny thing. I have to get it. But we need to get inside before everything starts running at us. The last time we were outside and things started running at us. Well, we got our butts kicked all the way in by a clown in a barn. It wasn't a pretty sight. So, we'll get all this stuff in there. Get all wrapped up for the night. Call it good. And Oh, nice. Go ahead and take you. It's the wrong tool, but more rock candy is good. Anyway, we're going to end this one here. We'll pick back up tomorrow, day four. Trader should have reset, although we don't have anything to sell him, so we have no money. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you're enjoying the series still. If you did, do me a favor, leave a like on the video, of course. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe if you're not already, so you don't miss out on future videos. And in the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day, Then I'll talk to you later.